This video will show you how to add codes, enter time, and provide an overview of options. To get to your timesheet, click on the Remote Payroll button, Timesheet, or you can use the shortcuts found on the home page. Along the top, you will see the Daily, Weekly View Time option. If you are entering time only for yourself, the Weekly View may be best. If you are entering time for a crew, the daily view may be preferred. Your payroll group will be shown here. If you are assigned to more than one payroll group, you can change it by clicking here. If you are entering time only for yourself, you will not need to change the employee field. But if you are entering time for others, you can select them with this drop-down. In addition, we have the option if turned on by your company to add employees to your group. This can be done in a few places to make it easier for you. Your default pay period will be shown here, or you can select a past pay period or future pay period. You can find additional options hidden in more, like the Quick View option and your personal settings. If this is your first time logging in, you will need to add jobs and codes to your timesheet. Click the button below and add the jobs and codes you will need. Your company will select the items for your group to add, so many of these options may not appear on your screen. Click Add to Timesheet. You will see your jobs and codes listed on the left. You can scroll down to find your job line or scroll up to access the search field. These arrows will allow you to move forward and back, or you can select the pay period. The most commonly used pay IDs will appear with the pay type legend below, or you can hover over to see the description. If you are entering time off, you may need to change the pay type group. This is customized by your company, so if you have questions, please contact your administrator. Enter your time. You can approve your time line by line, or you can approve all here. You can add comments for your time, list your attendance, and find additional options here. If you need to correct time entered, you can reclaim the time and then make your changes. As long as the next level of approval has not approved your time, this option will work. If they have your time, they will either need to correct it themselves or deny the time which will bring it back to your level for correction.